Welcome back to the VST channel guys, it's just been 24 hours since I'm trying to play with the Pixel 8 Pro and of course test this device versus what is right now probably still the king of Android, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and Samsung is causing waves again. I just got 1000 messages on all my channels but thanks to Ujo from the VST chat ZWJC, the One UI 6 Beta 7 has been released. My pal Ross from System Hunts also posted the change look. So, yep, this is pretty much it, guys. The One UI 6 Beta 7 ZWJC. They fix some bugs, quick pedal, sometimes cannot be open, some blinking, some, you know, like nobody really cares about this because people are reporting, well, you know, they finally fixed animations. So when I hear like, okay, Samsung and animations and fixing, and finally, this certainly gets me triggered. I immediately sideloaded it, so this here is the One UI 6 Beta 7, guys, 4K 60fps video. I'm just going to do some random tests, right, just to be able to confirm if it really gotten better, because honestly, I doubt it right now that they're just going to be able to fix it so quick, but okay, we are here to test. So, first things first, we're gonna check this animation, right? So just, if you're here for the first time and you like content like this, guys, or you want to watch some Pixel 8 content, Pixel 8 Pro versus this, well, you know what to do, like just hit that bell icon, whatever, notification. Yeah, you know, it goes, that's the real. So, yep, folder opening, pretty smooth, I would say. Okay, now let me just try to open some applications. All right, one more time. Okay, and one more time. So apps opening and closing, really very smooth. So I have a lot of applications. I'm not going to close them right now, but it, you've just seen this little stutter here. So, uh, all right, I, I think, you know, it's not gonna be ideal, not really now with this, but I just hope that it's gonna be at least improved. So let's open some Facebook, uh, close it. Let's open Twitter or X. Okay, Twitter, I just try to scroll down a bit. Okay, and now, guys, something very important. Now, the issue with the Samsung phones is not only with the animations, and you know what happens when I go to 5X and slow them down? It's really horrible, you can check my videos there, and the problem is that some of these opening and closing animations are the same as in One UI 2.1. But there has been also this issue when you're browsing the gallery and you wanna exit the photos, guys. It's just not so quick, and honestly, I don't have a feeling it becomes somehow faster. So for me, it's kind of pretty much still the same, maybe a bit faster, right? But at the end of the day, guys, uh, it feels uh, still the same. Maybe a tad faster, but also I have 1000 picks here, guys, so it's probably a good indication. You probably have 100 picks, it's gonna be better. Now, honestly, probably just a tiny bit better. You know, like we're navigating, and you know, over the time with the gallery, I do like this, I want to just, do unzoom, zoom, everything. This for sure is a bit better because this used to really lack. And now guys, I think the moment of truth, let me just try to test a bit more of the smoothness. So I'm just going to open, oh yeah, okay. The problem with the previous versions was that the animation somehow when triggered should have been finished before you can just trigger the next action. And right now I can tell you, this feels already better. And I also put here the settings menu, all right. I think the hopes are really high. Expectations really are very high right now. Let me just see what happens when we do this in dead mode. Oh, wow. Yes, you, can. <laughs> you know, this is even better in dead mode, guys. So when I do this into the landscape mode, it's also very fluid. And by the way, yep, very responsive. So the issue with the responsiveness, we can probably confirm that if not fixed, then at least a bit better. Now just opening some applications and closing them and just opening some picks. I think the fluidity is still a bit different when you open and try to exit the pics or navigate inside the gallery. It might be a bit more responsive. Um, see here, guys. The moment I really hold my finger and move it away like this. Okay, now this was almost in real time. Okay, one more time. Yeah, almost in real time. One more time. No, definitely better. Now, let me just try to also now close everything. I'm just going to close everything. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to now launch the edge panel with the split here so okay scrolling like this let me just try to move this to a full screen mode move it around okay yeah now it looks quite nice i can tell you guys but you know like tech reviewers always say like oh you know it's better it's better no sometimes it's really better sometimes it's really worse and i can say now with i think a high level of confidence it's really 
it's really a bit better. You know, the only thing I hope that uh, in three days, you know, when I'm not restarting my phone, it's going to be the same. But just this alone, I think is a nice improvement compared to the previous beta. So opening apps and closing apps are quite nice. Now, you know, let me open the Instagram, scroll down, go to the left and check how the camera will open here. All right, because you know, every time you go from this, which you probably have 120 hertz to this it will drop to 60 hertz it's the same also with the camera let me just open the camera close open the camera close all right guys no definitely better so viber as well telegram one more time but just this alone here is a very nice improvement so definitely in the right direction and maybe guys we're gonna get another better before we f are able to get the final product but guys just see this alone this alone here is still an improvement right compared to the previous version so check it it really feels smooth and you know going here checking all your quick toggles and all the notifications and you can just swipe left swipe right and just clear everything so it finally feels like a smooth phone let's check the unlock all right unlock quite nice all right see that one guys wow now you have to know where you press by the way but unlock if you know where to press it's gonna be quite nice yeah you just need to know where to press okay let's just do it from here okay one more time always on display here okay let's check this animation always on display lock screen always on display lock screen unlock and the settings yeah it really flies occasional stutters probably still detected right but it's a very 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 nice direction where Samsung is going. Please Samsung fix this phone, make this the best phone, the best Android phone. Well, you know else? Yeah, no, okay. G3 is a whole other story, guys, but that's the Pixel. So if you want to get a bit more on the Pixel 8 Pro versus the Samsung S23 Ultra, and of course, compare these babies, don't forget to visit the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you want to have a chat, join the VST chat. All the news are there. Thanks to you. Stay safe, VST over and bye.